everybody, it's the last Raider. We are back, and I'd like to kind of want to put a closure on the whole Naughty Dog thing. Uh, everybody is, is going through it. If there is more developments that come out, I've still got to do the video on Anita, but that'll probably be the last one that I do on this. <clears throat> but I was wanting to talk about me as a person who's not emotionally invested in the whole uh, Last of Us, because I've ne like I said, I've never played the game, and I'm probably not going to play the game after everything Naughty Dog has done. But what I will say, the, the easiest way I can do this is just start from the beginning, okay? Back before this whole thing with Naughty Dog, one of the first games that I played uh, was over at a friend's house, and it was Crash Bandicoot, which is a Naughty Dog game. It was fun, it was interesting. And so, the moment... My sister went out and she, you know, she did sports and crap. She hauled off and did a, a triathlon. I did other things. I did taekwondo and other crap. But she did a triathlon at one point. Or a bike-a-thon, I guess is what it would be called. Mo mostly she got it because she rode the bike the longest. She rode a bike for an extended period of time and ended up winning a PlayStation 1. And this is how I got started as a PlayStation customer. Because... Unlike Nintendo, who was still doing, you know, Super Nintendo at the time was doing side-scrollers and stuff, and then eventually they came out with an N64, PlayStation was that game console that, you know, they had all kinds of good stuff coming out. They had Duke Nukem. They had all this other really good, just good shit. And Nintendo at the time was making games, they, they were making some decent games, but almost every game you could get on Super Nintendo, you could almost get on PlayStation, and PlayStation usually had a whole lot of better stuff. I'm talking they had Legend of, stuff like Legend of Dragoon, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, the Duke Nukem series, um, just really, really good games that Einhander was one of them that I played, Gran Turismo, uh, Fighting Force, all these interesting games that come out for the PlayStation 1. You know, it, it got me to the point where I was like, you know, I, I'm i probably going to play this for a very long time. I remember pushing the button, opening up, popping Tomb Raider in, going out and having a blast with it. Uh, <clears throat> eventually, however, word came out and I ended up with a PlayStation 2. And the PlayStation 2 was just... Oh, it was awesome. Okay, the first game I got, my uncle actually went out and he bought the PlayStation 2. And he got Kinetica was the big game that I, was the first game I got for that. And uh, he, he always reminded me, he said, it's an awesome game, man. It's, it's futuristic body bikes. Of course, my uncle was, he was the fun uncle of the family. So, he, he, I got that, got GTA, I got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for it. And that's what we played all the time. You know, we would we would get on each other's console and we would, you know, mess around inside of GTA 5, getting the Harrier, getting the Apache helicopter and all that good stuff. Flying around, you know, getting the game going as far in. He'd help me out. When I'd run into a problem, he'd done beat it, and so he'd help me out with it. That eventually went on, and then PlayStation 3 came out. And I think one of the first games that I had for PlayStation 3 was Mercenaries World in Flames. Because that was the big game for PlayStation 3 when it came out. PlayStation 2 had Mercenaries uh, Playground of Destruction. And then you had, PlayStation, you had uh, Mercenaries 2. Which I wish they had made a Mercenaries 3, but the way Mercenaries 3 went down, it was a Venezuelan conflict and... The Venezuelan army didn't look too good <laughs> when they got done with them. Uh, but, I mean, I had a lot of fun games on there. You know, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 was on. I played all of those. And now, how did I end up here? Anyway, I actually am a PlayStation 4 guy. I've got a PS4 and I'm running it and I guess we'll go over this point. Am I buying the PlayStation 5? Well, after everything that's happened with Naughty Dog and currently, you know, Sony is now going after YouTubers and creators, I want to say no. I mean, I'm kind of done with PlayStation. I may, I'll enjoy the free games when they come out, 
But as far as going out and buying games for PlayStation now, after the way Sony has been treating other players and how they've been treating other con other creators in YouTube, which, mind you, in my opinion, the YouTuber business relationship is kind of a symbiotic one, okay? YouTubers get some clout and a little bit of money for promoting products, and at the same time, they end up promoting and making companies more money through promotion. Because of the way that PlayStation or Sony has kind of gone after people over this Last of Us 2 nonsense, I kind of just want to get a PC and just be done with it. There's very little politics in the PC market because there is no console. There is no company that's controlling everything. And I kind of want to get away from that central... I want to decentralize my gaming hobby and, and have something a little less uh, centralized. Something that can run multiple platforms. On top of that, in the last years of running on PlayStation 4, we haven't gotten mods, which I really would have loved to have had mods. Uh, I got Conan Exiles and ended up... A lot of things were... Some things were censored out of that. For one thing, there could only be partial nudity in the entire game. And I'm of the mindset of, look, I'm almost 30-something years old when I bought the game. Why in the frick am I paying my money for a censored version of a game? And then there's also all the other games, such as Space Engineers and um, Lost Oasis and many others that when these games come out, all of us on console have to sit there and just suffer for a little bit until we get the vanilla version, which by the time we get vanilla version, there's a whole frick ton of get, of different mods that come out that PC has been enjoying for years. And I'm just kind of getting sick of it. And after playing some Warzone and realizing that a controller is no match for a guy on a mouse and keyboard, I really want to get... I was really looking at a PC. And the fact that they're all so much cheaper and then I can have a better screen and I can hook up stuff and have a superior VR. And if the PlayStation 6 comes out, I can just rebuild, I can just upgrade everything to max out the stats to a level higher than that of the PlayStation 6. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of just getting sick of, you know, being screwed around. Like my wife when she heard mods were coming out, she's like, oh, I'll finally get to play with a Buster Sword like uh, Cloud Strife has in uh, Final Fantasy on Skyrim. No. No. Because, no, PlayStation is afraid of people hacking the system and taking all their stuff, even though they get hacked all the time. And I'm kind of the mindset of, I just want to go to Steam, download a, an indie game, and, you know, just play it with some friends of mine without having to deal with all the bullshit politics. And I mean, it's not the first time Sony has put bullshit politics in front of their customers. They are the... Remember, Sony was the producer, I believe, was the company that produced uh, Ghostbusters 3, which started this whole woke nonsense. They have not learned that Get Woke Go Broke yet. And personally, in my opinion, I think this is going to start the downfall of PlayStation. Not because... Because they're letting their politics get in the way of games, all right? You see Laura Croft today, nearly flat-chested, scrawny-looking chick, compared to Laura Croft, athletic, muscular butt, large tits, impressive chick using two handguns, which, by the way, here's another thing. Um, explain to me how giving Laura Croft a bow and arrow is an upgrade to the two uh, 1911s she used to carry. Okay? It seems to me Laura could do a lot more damage with a handgun, and a bow and arrow pulls more weight out of it. I need to do a video on that. The reason why old school, to, old school Laura Croft could kick the shit out of new school Laura Croft. But anyway... This this whole nonsense now of, you know, with Anita Sarkeesian coming in and all this pushing politics and everything, and I'm just sick of the woke agenda. I would love to be able to just get a game where the main character was a Samus Aran type. She looked good. Blonde. I'm sick and tired of the fucking Burnettes. I didn't even marry a Burnett. I married a, I married a jet black haired Filipino lady. Okay? I wanted something exotic because... They're brown-headed chicks all over the place where I live. 
but instead we're taking they're they're doing everything they can to make every woman this neutral desexualized semi masculine shitty man and I'm just sick of it and with all the the crap of them going out there and going after creators joining the PC master race just seems a lot better every day of the year. And I'm just sick and tired of dealing with it all the time. I just much rather have a PC at the house, which I don't have a computer because I have a PlayStation and a phone, but I would, but like I've told my wife, I said, why am I going to pay $600 for a console when I could pay probably the same amount of money and get a PC that has more memory, more power, more everything. And on top of that, the problem I have with my PlayStation at the moment is games are maxing out so bad. I need a two terabyte uh, hard drive, which crashes every so often. And I can't get, I, I can't do much with it. And it's a PlayStation product. You would figure the PlayStation product would be usable. And I guess the whole point of this is I'm just done with PlayStation. I mean, I, like I said, I've been a loyal customer since when they first came out. I mean, I played every Tomb Raider up until about Angel of Darkness, and then I played almost every Tomb Raider except for the two modern ones they have where she's using a bow and arrow all the freaking time. And those games were solid. They still held up. Like, they'd remastered the original Tomb Raider, and it still held up no matter what. It still held up good. And I beat that sucker half to death. But the problem that we keep running into nowadays is... We don't want to talk about fun. We want to talk about politics. And I'm just, I don't want politics in my games. I want to sit down and get away from the world. Not go back into, not sit down and then turn on a computer program that tries to brainwash me the whole time. I get sick and tired of it. And people get tired. That's why people are out there protesting right now. They're sick and tired of being told what to do. They want to be left alone. And I want to be left alone in my game. I want to pay some money because PlayStation is supposed to be my dancing monkey that gives me entertainment. I under, Yes, I understand games are expensive. But when you're sitting there and you're deliberately downgrading your game to put politics into it, don't be surprised when people stop buying your game. As usual, folks, I guess I'm kind of done with that rant. But tell me what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And... Uh, Tell me how y'all feel about PlayStation. Are y'all going the are y'all gonna go PC route? Some of y'all might go Xbox route. Xbox will at least let you play PlayStation. Well at least let you play uh PC games. But I mean I'm I'm kind of done. I mean, just tell me if you guys are done with PlayStation as well, because after everything Sony has done, I'm kind of sick of the system. I don't really want to play PlayStation's entire I want to play I mean, I'll play the free games that I've got, but I'm not sitting there sinking money into games no more on PlayStation. If I'm going to put my money into something, I'm going to buy games that I want and be able to play them the way I want. Like, if I buy Skyrim again on PC, well, the chick's not going to be completely covered up. We're probably going to be running around with a Sloot Dragonbone armor mod and a ridiculously large sword and some ridiculous-sized tits with a skin mod that makes her look absolutely gorgeous. I'm the last Raider, folks. Be safe, stay frosty, keep your head on a swivel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.